What's going on, y'all? Today we got functional posture. We got four exercises, 15 seconds in between, having exercises to reinforce the vertical position in our spine, making sure that how we orient ourselves in different positions, different parts of our day is safe for our spine and promotes healthy spinal alignment. So our first exercise is a tempo squat. All right, so I really want you guys to, to be keeping your back nice and vertical. Make sure our chest is not facing the floor as we squat down. We want our chest to be facing the wall in front of you, right? So we're gonna get started here in, in, in the 15 seconds. We got three sets of 15 seconds. Make sure our core is engaged, right? If our core is not engaged, it's gonna be extremely hard to keep that back vertical, right? So we're gonna get started here in four, three, two. Get down into a tempo squat. See, I'm keeping that back nice and vertical, keeping that core nice and engaged, really, really challenge yourself to get all the way down at least 90 degrees from your knee to your hip. We got three more seconds. Come on, three more seconds, two, last one here. Good, tempo squat, tempo squat. You can shake it out, right? Getting some glute and quad activation. We're gonna have about a 15 second break and then we're gonna get right into it. Nice, pretty, not too rapid of a pace, but you know, we're gonna get right to work. We got two more seconds. Let's go, tempo squat. Again, keeping that back nice and vertical. Obviously, the second, third, and fourth exercise, we're gonna progress, right? We're gonna get more intense, have more intensity in the exercise. And let's do one more, one more. Nice job, nice job. Take your break. We got 15 seconds. We got one more set on these tempo squats. First exercise. Again, you already know I like to make these super quick for your, for you guys so you guys can get it done throughout your, throughout the day. And there's no excuse. There's no excuse on why we can't get these exercises in to promote a healthier lifestyle, both physically and mentally. Yeah, now I'm gonna keep re making sure that you guys are breathing. I really wanna be taking lots of oxygen, even though I'm doing these simple, easy exercises. There we go. First exercise done, three sets, 15 seconds. I'm gonna move on to the upper body movement right now, right? So I'm keeping a nice foundation in my core. I'm having uh, karate hands, I like to call them. I'm gonna alternate as I extend that um, arm. So I extend my right arm, then I'm alternating with the left arm, but we're gonna put a little bit of speed, a little bit of tempo on this. Again, we got this for 15 seconds, but I want that movement to come from the core, right? I don't want us to be focusing on throwing jabs. I want us to focus on using our core to rotate, right? That power is coming from the core to rotate and the finishing end of the movement is just our arms being extended, right? We're gonna get started here in five seconds. We got three sets of these, three sets, 15 seconds. Y'all ready? All right, come on. Again, make sure I'm focusing on rotating that core and my arms are just a finishing byproduct of that movement I'm trying to keep track of that time because i'm really really going good here guys nice job nice job that was 15 seconds i hope i'm getting a little dizzy trying to look at the time and make sure i'm still being fully engaged in the workout i want you guys to be following and trying to match my intensity right that's going to get you guys the most maximum output on the movement Again, focus on really rotating that core, the front abs, the obliques. Nice. Make sure to breathe on the end of each motion. There we go, that's 15 seconds, almost. Okay, nice job, nice job. We got two sets down, two sets down, one more set to go. Take this time and recuperate, breathe, relax. All right, we got one more set, we got one more set. Here we go, here we go. Making sure I'm using the top of my core. I actually even feel some right below my lats, right? Because I'm really focused on rotating that core, using the hip flexor to drive and bring power from the hips into the core to get a really, really big rotation. And then the finishing part is in my hands. Nice job, nice job. I think that was a little bit more than 15 seconds, but I did want to challenge y'all. Two more exercises to go. We're halfway, halfway there. It's been about four minutes. Take this time to breathe, right? Relax if you want to get a little bit of shoulder rotations. Get a little bit of shoulder rotations. <sighs> Calm your shoulders down. You can finish off with some torso twists, some light torso twists. <sighs> nice, nice. All right, so we're gonna have a little bit of a wider base in our feet, a little bit more than hip width. I want my arms over my head. I really don't want to push on my neck, right? I just want my hand placement to be right behind my neck to make sure my body is in this certain position. I'm going to rotate my body and really get a nice crunch on those obliques, right? So a lot of people, they may tend to like really pull 
on their neck and lean forward. I'm not trying to lean forward, right? That's excessive tension on that cervical spine. That's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to focus on engaging that front core, our front abdominal modes, right? And as we get a good rotation, we get a double, um, double edge uh, effect on the core, having that crunch on this oblique that we're focusing on and a nice extension on the opposite oblique, right? So we really wanna focus on making sure we're promoting good form and exhale as we get into that rotation to really deepen each side of the exercise, right? All right, guys, we're gonna get started here in five, four, three, two, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get into the rotation, 15 seconds, get into the rotation. Nice, nice. Really try to hold each side of the rotation, each position for about a second, two seconds. <sighs> Coming up here. Nice. Good job. Good job. You can relax your arms. Right? It can be a little bit tense on the shoulders, but I already feel a nice engagement in the, in the obliques. We got two more sets and this is exercise number three. We're flying through these, flying through these. This shouldn't take you anything more than 10 minutes. All right. Let's get started here in three, two, Good. Deep rotation, a little bit of a wider stance in my feet and hip width. Really focusing on getting a nice crunch on the side that we're contracting of our obliques and having a really good extension. Nice job on the opposite side. I'm feeling good, job. That's two sets down. We got one more to go. It's a little bit windy out here, but look. There should be any excuse, right? This is 10 minutes, whether it's rain, whether it's shine, whether you got kids, you can find 10 minutes where I get a nice space, body weight only workout to get these benefits for your health. All right, we're gonna get started here in five, four, three, two. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Last set, last set. On this last set, you should definitely find, I have way more range of motion now. I don't know if you can tell, we watch it, I'm really, Getting a deep extension, deep rotation on that core. <sighs> nice. Good job. Good job. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. We got one more exercise. We have one more exercise, right? Let's get into some shoulder rotations. I know your shoulders may be a little bit tense. I'm keeping this position high. <sighs> Breathe. Backwards rotation. Get some forward rotation. We got one more exercise, y'all. Three sets of 15 seconds. Functional posture. Good. So we're going to get into a deep squat. As I get into a deep squat, I'm going to open up that right hand. Extend that right hand. Bring it back. Open up that left hand. Extend that left hand. I'm going to come up from the squat. Make sure that as I'm coming up from the squat, right, I still want to maintain that good form of keeping my back nice and vertical. I don't want to hinge my hips. I don't want to have my chest coming up facing the floor. That's putting excess tension on our lumbar spine, our lower back, which we do not want to do, right? So we're going to get started here in three, two, let's go. Open up on that right side. <sighs> Breathe. Nice. <sighs> we got 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Make sure we're breathing. Open up. Nice job, nice job. Only two reps, only two reps for 15 seconds, right? When you're doing it properly, you're focusing on fully lengthening those areas of your body, right? I'm not focused on speed. This, none of this should be speedy. All of this should be focusing on having full control, full control in how we are orienting our body. Breathe. Nice, nice, nice. Look at that. Look at that. Second set, almost done, almost done. Last exercise. Good job. We got one more set, y'all. We got one more set. It's been nine minutes. Nine minutes, four exercises to really, really reinforce how our posture is being aligned in different movements, different planes of motion. We got one more set, y'all. Let's get it done, get it done, get it done. Here we go, here we go. Opening up, opening up. Nice. Here we go, last one, last one. Very good job on the day, very good job on the day. Here we go, we got four sets, four exercises. Y'all know I always mess up on that, I be saying mad numbers, but we got four exercises, three sets, 15 seconds, functional posture. This is something you can get done in the office, you can get done at the crib. There is no excuse, right? I don't need, not, I don't need much, just my body and some energy. I will see y'all in the next video, peace.